I currently use the Sigma FP as an A or B cam or as a gimbal cam. This is why I rig my FP in a way so that it can be used in different configurations for different situations. The custom setups that I'm going to show is based on my own style of shooting. I use an external SSD for 12-bit RAW recording and also attach an HDMI adapter cable for monitoring video and sound. For my base rig, I use a small rig cage and I zip tied a micro to full HDMI adapter to the front part. A small rig side plate also secures the USB cable and HDMI adapter cable. A small rig SSD holder is attached to the side plate via a custom shim made from an aluminum bar. This not only protects the cables, but it is sturdy enough to act as a side handle when I'm using the rig in a minimalist configuration. I find the small rig cage hand grip to be too small and I always accidentally hit the scroll wheel and the buttons. To fix this, I attached a modified NATO rail to the side of the cage and here I added a mic stand to one fourth stud adapter to the side. I wrapped it with a heat shrink tube for comfort. This allows me to move my grip slightly to the side and it also acts as a hand support. Also, I added a small rig support for the Sigma MC21 EF to L adapter. I trimmed and modified a Manfrotto 501 PL and attached it to the cage using two screws. For an external monitor, I use an adapter that I screwed on top of the cage. I made an extension bar from aluminum so I can attach a rosette mount. The base rig is all set and now it can easily be transformed to different configurations depending on the project. An HDMI to VGA plus audio adapter is what I use to add a headphone jack to the Sigma FP. This is the compact base rig. To configure for handheld run and gun, I modified an old viewfinder by adding a screw mount so I can attach it to the top of the cage. This is useful in bright sunlight or when using the FP for stills. The eye cushion is from Blue Star. When I want to use a monitor instead, I use this 2600 nit 6 inch field world monitor. Using a monitor allows for low angle shots and more creative handheld moves. You can monitor sound now via the monitor's headphone jack. For gimbal work, I change to a lightweight wide angle lens and my old Zhuyin Crane version 2. I tapped a 1420 thread onto the Manfrotto PL so I can screw it directly to the gimbal's mounting plate. For remote triggering, I use a JJC shutter release cable connected to a LAN part start-stop controller. For handheld shooting, using heavier lenses make the rig front heavy. This is when I attach a wooden hand grip from Camvate to the rosette mount. Widening the distance between your hands adds stability to your camera movement. For longer shooting times and added functionality, I used another Manfrotto 501 PL, a modified Camvate QR base plate, an NPF battery plate with dummy battery, and a 15mm rail block with one end cut off. Using NPF batteries with its different capacities and sizes allow me to customize the rig's weight and shooting time. Adding a 15mm rail rod will allow the addition of a follow focus which I can use while still supporting the rig with a hand grip.
This setup can also be easily mounted to a basic shoulder rig by removing the side handle. There are more ways to configure and use the base rig that I haven't shown here, but I hope this is helpful to you in some way, perhaps as a basis for your own customized rig. I hope this helps you in some way.